or um, right now we have a costume or we have a sprite for a, a, a meteor and it has multiple costumes and that's where we ended off now we want to focus on the code of teaching that meteor how to to fly down and um, from top to bottom this should be familiar to you with the um, uh, shoot the butterflies but um, I actually have a few different things that I'm going to do in this tutorial um, you don't so follow along and, and see what you can get okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the event for when the the game starts what is it the first thing I want it to do well the first thing I want the the meteor to do is hide right because wherever it is, I don't want it to just show up and blow up my, my rocket ship. Okay? Now, because I know that I'm going to have multiple meteors, then I want to, I don't want them to all start at the same time and then all be flying down at the same time. So I'm just going to create a, 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 a control where I'm going to wait. Um, and where's the, right here? I'm going to wait. Now, I don't want them all to be the same. So you could either, um, I think in the past I've done it to where I just said, okay, one of them, I just edit this for the next sprite. And so I just change it from 0.3 to 0.5 to 0.7. I'm going to do something a little bit more creative in this video. I'm going just to just create an operator where it's randomly, a random amount of time. Okay. So I'm going to wait a random amount of time between uh, let's say 0.5 seconds and up to uh, 1.5 seconds. So some of them might start 0.5 seconds when the game, others any, any number in between those. Okay, so as soon as I've waited that random amount of time, now I want it to show up. So I'm gonna have it show. And then I'm gonna, now I gotta teach it to, to drift down. Now this is where it's just the same as, as the, the uh, basic game where we taught the butterflies to drift down. So it's going to be um, forever in the game. This is going to be happening. So we're going to put a forever loop. We're going to have it go to a random X position and a set Y position, just like the butterflies. So we're going to go to XY, which is right here. And the X, instead of being um, a, a fixed number, I'm going to I'm going to choose an operator in this one, and I'm going to do a random. I think uh, this. So I'm going to go. So the left side of the screen is. Uh, uh, I think it's 240. So I'm just going to say negative two. I'll do 230 just so it's not right on the edge. And then all the way to the right side, I'll go all the way to the side because of where the sprite is. Oops, not 240. Oh yeah, 240. And then Y, I want to um, be positive 180 so that that's the top of the screen right here, 180. Okay, now it's going to hide it's going to wait a certain a random amount of time between 0.5 to 1.5 seconds then it's going to show up and it's going to go to the top of the screen just like the butterfly now what do we want it to do we want it to glide okay but we want it to glide um make sure you do the glide x and y not the glide random position and just like before we're going to have it do it in I'm going to be a little bit creative right now too. In the past, we've always just kept it with one, but I'm going to do the same thing with an operator. I'm going to pick a random so that sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. So I want mine to go a little bit faster. We'll say instead of one second, I'll go 1.2, and it could go up to maybe 3.5 seconds. So it would this one would be slow, this one would be faster. Okay. So some meteors are going to come down fast, some meteors are going to come down slow. And then um, on the, uh, that's where it's going to, that's the time. Now we got to teach it where to go to. So just like this one, I could um, duplicate that. 
and I'm going to put it in here because it's going to be the exact same on my x, but my y now is going to be negative 180. So now it's going to be gliding down to the bottom of the screen right there, okay? And so some of them will be faster, some of them are going to be slower, okay? And then um, another thing that I like to do is to make the meteors look like they're not always facing the same direction. See how he's just kind of slightly turned to the left? And he's always turned that direction, no matter which direction it's drifting. So a little extra um, uh, code that you can do to make it a little more realistic is to point in the direction. Okay, so I can change the direction it's pointing. Now, 90 is pointing to the side. So I would want it to point, um, I, and again, this is probably something that I don't want to be the same every time because that's what it was already doing. So I'm going to do another operator where I can pick a random so that my direction that it's facing is changing every single time. So I'm going to go from, uh, we'll say 170 to 190. I don't want it to be a huge span of direction. So 180 would be straight down, 190 is slightly to the right, and 170 is slightly to the left. So each time it comes down, it's going to be randomly going just slightly to the left or slightly to the right. Okay, so that's a creative way of making it drift and look more realistic. But with the butterflies, we just said uh, we didn't do the point direction. We just had it go to the X and glide down. Well, this one's a meteor, so I wanted it to turn. Okay? All right, now I want to teach another concept with our meteor, um, and that is that um, when it's touching the rocket ship, I want it to end the game. Well, I can just make a simple code that says forever if you touch the rocket ship, stop all. And that's what we did with the basic game. But the, this new concept is going to be um, how to broadcast an event and then react to that broadcast later when we do an explosion. So having a broadcast of the end of the game, game over, um, will allows us, allows us later to be able to receive the broadcast of the game over and make the and then when I receive that I can tell it to new code to make the rocket ship disappear and make an explosion image so it looks like the rockets exploding okay so and this is going to be a, a forever loop that's going to start when I touch the green flag and so I'm going to when when it happens and then I'm going to do a forever loop that says and this is where the new code is. It's in my events. I'm going to broadcast. Um, oh, well, let's do the sensing. So forever, I, I skipped one step. It's got it forever if it's touching, if the rocket ship is touching the, the meteor or Sprite 1 in this case right now. Okay, so we need a sensing. And it's going to be touching. So if I'm touching a uh, rocket ship, then I want to broadcast. So now I'm now I'm back to my uh, events. Um, I'm going to broadcast. Now I've done this once before, and so this this uh, message is already in my in my queue here. But when you put it in, this isn't going to exist. So what you're going to do is create a new message and it's going to pop up this screen right here and you'll type in game over. Now I'm just going to hit cancel, but you guys will hit OK because mine's already there. OK, so you'll hit OK. And then this drop down menu, uh, you'll make sure that it has selected game over. So now when the meteor touches the rocket ship, it's going if it if it touches the rocket ship, it's going to broadcast game over. Okay, now um, with that said, we will later teach it how what game over means. So I'm just going to leave that sprite right there. Um, now I want my um, my rock. We put in all that work to make all the different costumes so that it would be flickering. So now I need to write a sec section of code here that teaches it how to um, to go to for for the next costume. Okay, and so I'm just going to do a whole separate event of when the green flag is, is clicked. Um, 
I am going to go to an XY position that's up here at the top so that there's no chance that at the beginning of the game um, it uh, automatically blows up the, the rocket ship. So I'm just going to hit a, a motion and I'm going to have it go up to the top. Um, X, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll put this one over to and again, these numbers don't really matter because it's going to pick a random anyway in just a, in just a second. This is just so that it doesn't accidentally explode at the beginning. So I'll just pick a random number up here on X. And I just want my Y to be up high to where my rocket ship is not at. So 164. Okay, and now a simple on my looks. Well, I guess I want it to do it forever, so I'm going to do a forever loop. And that's in my control. And now I'm going to just say forever I want you to cycle through the next costume. Okay. So now let's click on that. And you can see that the meteor is flickering. And it's doing it really fast. So it kind of looks like a burning flame as it drifts down. And so that's how I, I get the uh, meteor to drift down and, and touch the rocket ship. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop right there because that's all the sprite, all the uh, coding you need to create one of these. I'm going to make a step five on how to um, end the game and create an explosion. Uh, so stop it, stop it here, and go ahead and do it.